Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Slam and White Tales. This week we uh, we're gonna join myself and Tucker in Deerwoods as uh, we go after a couple nice bucks on our farms. Things are really starting to be heating up here in Wisconsin, and we had some good hunts, so check them out. That was a nice hunt by Tucker, and uh, the buck that he saw was called Show Off, and he's going to be making another appearance real soon here. So this next hunt we're getting into is mine, and uh, it was a really, really action-packed hunt, actually. Um, although I only saw four deer being in the stand, uh, I had deer around me all morning, and it turned out to be a great hunt. Check it out.
à. à. yes smoke him Big eight. No way. No way. Oh. I'm really hoping I got that on film. He went up. He got to 40. For like, he was at 38 yards. Right behind the shoulder. Boom! Smoked him. Oh. I knew. I knew if I could get in this stand early enough and I would sit here and I would see a big buck just because of all the pinching that comes down right here. Oh, I gotta call my, I gotta call my grandpa. We worked so hard all summer to get that shot right there. Oh, I don't even know what I just dropped. I don't really care. I'm gonna call my mom first, actually. All right, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, sit up here for a little longer. Uh, I'm gonna go look. I saw the arrow. When he ran that way, I saw it fell out. So I'm gonna go look for it, but it looked like a money shot. I'm gonna look on the film. Oh, yes! Same of white tails, baby. All right, guys. Well, it's been about 20 minutes since I shot him. Um, I think I hit him perfect. I reviewed the footage and everything. Uh, I just you never. I haven't shot a deer. I haven't shot a buck in five years. And I've been working my ass off. My, my parents know that. Everyone I'm around knows that I hunt more than I do anything. And they've just been so supportive and everything. And everybody's been supportive of me hunting all the time. And putting all the time in trying to get a big buck. And it's just been, I spent countless nights just not sleeping because of deer. And he's not the biggest, we, we have a bigger buck on this farm. But he, uh, he is a stud. He's a great big four and a half year old eight pointer. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get down. I'm gonna go try to find blood, try to find my arrow. Uh, it's, uh, I'm excited guys. I knew, I knew if I got in this spot, sooner or later I'd have a big one walk by and I did. He's down. So, all right, guys. You guys saw the footage. We're gonna go get the get on the blood trail and hopefully find this big boy. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I'm just walking up on my arrow right here. Looks like I got good penetration. My broadheads broke off. But it looks like I got a good, I got a good uh, nine, ten inches of penetration. So I get on some blood here. There's a decent amount of blood right there. Uh, we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna take it slow. So uh, I'll let you guys know what happens. Stay tuned. All right. So here's the deal. Um, we're going back to get my brother Parker. He wants to. Help me find it. We're gonna get my grandpa. Um, I looked for blood. I got good blood and pretty good spot in my arrow. Looks like it got really good penetration, so that's good. But um, I, I just backed out. Uh, we're gonna give him about 45 minutes after I shot. Probably probably an hour. Um, 
just want to take the best precautions that I can, but uh, I was jacked up guys as you guys can see from the video. It's been a long emotional season, been sitting in rain, snow, sleet, wind, just freezing my butt off to get that shot right there and I crushed him. So it's a good feeling guys, it's a really good feeling. Uh, as you can see from the arrow, pretty good, pretty good blood. Didn't smell like guts, didn't smell like anything. There's no way I hit his guts. The only thing that I'm worried about is I hit that off shoulder, but I think I went straight through because he was quartering away perfect. and I think I crushed him, so. Got it on video, which I was really surprised. I was hoping that that branch would stick one stick out, but gotta do what you gotta do, so. We're gonna go back, get Parker, and hopefully we find him. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we've got the tracking dogs with us now. We've got Grandpa and Parker, so we're gonna ease our way through here. I found my arrow, got really good blood on it, so we're gonna ease our way up through here and hopefully we find him. I smoked him. He's eating good. <laughs> Alright, let's go striker. Oh. Oh, is that a nice buck? Yeah, it is. Nice bull buck. Nice buck. Nice buck. Nice buck. Nice buck. Nice buck. Alright guys, well, we just found him. Uh, it's a buck we called show off during the summer because he was on every camera everywhere. And then he disappeared on us. Uh, Late August, he disappeared on us, and we picked him up. I actually saw this buck. I had him at 54 yards on the 27th, and couldn't close the deal, but he's a four and a half year old, big eight pointer. Uh, really cool rack. He's got nice long G2s and G3s. Uh, I'm tickled to death with him, and first one on the board on video for Slam Whitetails, so. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, guys. All right, guys. Well, we finally got the job done after a lot of sits in the stand and long off season. I uh, just want to say one more thanks to everybody that helped make this possible. Uh, I know Tucker and I have been putting in a lot of work. Me and Cody actually have been putting in a lot of his time in the stand, so it's been awesome. And now we can get a show off on the ground and finally show it to you guys is pretty special. So, well, thanks guys for watching Slamming White Tales, and make sure to subscribe and like.